fire signs aries leos and sag welcome to my channel i am lady day okay and this is the healing butterfly it says you are good enough okay <laughs> welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by to lend me your love and your energy i truly appreciate it today's reading or this particular reading will be the butterfly kisses um so this particular message is just some overall intuitive messages to and from your divine counterpart. Um, those who may be in union um, in some type of relationship, situationship, will be pulling the uh, angel romance. For those who are not currently in uh, some type of connection, we'll be pulling the soulmate cards, getting some island wellness um, confirmations, and then also giving you an affirmation card. Something that you can um, put into works, an affirmation that you can start to use to better center, center yourself um, for your path in love. So we'll first start with one overall energy in regards to today's butterfly kisses. What are you trying to tell us, spirit? Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Don't try to apply a storyline to you that does not fit. You may end up really upsetting yourself taking on energies that were not for you, okay? So let's get into it. Overall, what do we have for the fire signs for today's message? Okay, I want true jumpers only spirit. For the fire signs, what's the highest message in regards to love? Aries, Leo, and Sag highest message for Aries, Leo, and Sag. I'm also hearing, um, well, why are you tuning in to this if you don't want to know about love? That's just silly. Why are you bothering someone if you don't want love as well? Is that what it is? You're bothering someone who wants to, and you don't want love? They want love, you don't want love? One card, please. Okay. Wow. Okay. The bottom of the deck is the waxing moon. Um, the energy is gaining momentum. I asked for one card and they made sure. Wow. Okay. I get it. I got it. Okay. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. We were not supposed to have all these cards, but I'll take them. Um, emotions are running high. Super moon. Step out of your comfort zone. South North node. And conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so <laughs> i feel okay so these two are together and those two are together thank you spirit your emotions are running high because you're in a situation where it feels like it's it might be tough for you to get out of okay i'm feeling that i feel like your emotions are high because one of two things either you're having a hard time getting out of something and you think you may miss out on something but it's I feel like it's only tough because you won't come out of your comfort zone to give the conclusion. I feel like you know what the conclusion is because as you can see, like even though there are some wands here that may be blocking that moon, it's like, no, but I see that that's still a full moon and it looks like there's blood on the moon. So again, it, I just feel like it's one of those things where you do need to step outside of your comfort zone. Also, I'm feeling like there might be some spiritual um, reasoning behind why you need to step out of your comfort zone as well or that the reason why you have um, part of a tough cycle might be because you won't step out spiritually as well. But the energy is gaining momentum, um, and I'm hearing that that's one of two things. Either, uh, gosh, I don't want to say that spirit. So I, I, I'm just going to say either to, to receive your blessings or to walk away from them. But either way, it's, I'm just hearing it's moving forward. There's no more stagnation. You, can, you cannot, or that other person cannot, take what resonates, revolt, reverse the roles as needed. But no more stagnation. Emotions are running way too high. Conclusions are right here. The tough cycle has gone on too long. Okay. So let's get into um, the messages for those that are in some type of union. Um, may I have two cards, please, Spirit, for fire signs. Okay. I have let go of control. <laughs> let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. And free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And at the bottom of the deck, this could be the one. So I'm, I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to do no deep reading. I'm just going to give the, the quick, but I, real quick, there may be someone that you're trying to connect to, trying to keep a family together with, trying to keep a, a family for or something like that. But this person, I don't think that they mean you any good. Okay. I also feel like maybe this person may be um, a little bit of an opportunist because I see that she's taking things that she's leaving um, as well as the child. 
and I'm also seeing blueprints. So maybe you were getting ready to start a life with this person, buy a house with this person. Maybe you live with this person. Um, but I, I do feel like you're trying to control how this thing is going to go. And it's like it, it never really was going to be anything I'm hearing. So it's time to free yourself because I think you've already you've already you've already met the romantic partner you see, and it's clearly not this person. Okay. Two cards for event world control issues, spirit. Thank you. One more. Okay. Oh. Healing heart. Healing. I'm uh, sorry. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Um. Yeah. Healing from this because you probably already met your soulmate. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract, and then the, the dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, heal. So maybe you thought this person was your soulmate and they're really not. They And I'm also hearing that they might have transformed. They might have been real sweet, quiet. I'm hearing cocoon. So cocoon to me is peaceful, sleeping. Cocoon is the is the, is the period that, you know, um, a butterfly goes from a caterpillar, cocoon, then to the butterfly. But maybe this person came out of the dragonfly and you're like, what the hell? That ain't right. That, that's not what I was looking at. And it's like, yeah, this person probably did change. And you're finding out that this person is not who you thought they were. Uh, free yourself. Three, two cards. I'm sorry. Please. Two cards for free yourself, please, Spirit. Thank you. One more. Thank you. <laughs> free yourself. Right. Hand of cards. You're taking a chance, a risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand in gambling, and then girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living living in the moment, having fun, because it's time. You've taken a risk. You, you need, well, two things. You've taken a risk on someone who ended up not being who you thought they were going to be, and it's time for you to take a risk on yourself, to have time with self, to enjoy your life. Um, and maybe even someone has recently told you that as well. And then paradise at the bottom of the deck um, just for this layout. So this could be the one. This could be your paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So there you have it. If you're in a connection, um, that's the energy that I have. We're going to move to the soulmate cards for those that may not be in a connection at this time. But again, take what resonates also. So for the ones not in connection, Spirit, may I have two cards, please? Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. Two cards, please. And they gave me three again, but that's all right. Bottom of the deck is everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. So again, your emotions running high, getting out of your comfort zone, letting go of that fear. All of that seems to be a little bit of a, um, a theme here. And I love how Spirit just put these out just like this. Thank you. Um, okay. Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the people who cried all night. So maybe you have cried about this situation or cried about someone. And stop criticizing yourself. You are perfect just the way you are. And lastly, souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. So if there's someone that your soul has been longing for, um, if it is souls that are if it is a divine connection, they'll find you'll find your way back to that person, or that person will find their way back to you. Okay. One moment. I'm not gonna stop the video because I don't want to. Okay. Back to it. <clears throat> Fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag. I just noticed I didn't pull the butterfly kisses deck. Excuse me. Skip those. All right. One more time. I'm all, okay, so there may be something that you missed or misplaced or that you need to go get to help you along with whatever's going on. You may know what that thing is. There's something that will help you in your love life. Sometimes the strongest people, what is that spirit? May I have one card? Sometimes the strongest people in the morning are the ones who cry. Self-indulgence. <laughs> focus, excuse me, focus on self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation, exactly. Shadow work, in the moments that you are alone, I'm hearing. When you're alone is when you cry, at night, by yourself. 
that's in the moments that you need to, to and shadow work and also seduction at the bottom of the deck. Thank you, spirit. Um, if you do, if you use your nighttime for a lot of seduction, um, lust, sexual, this is called seduction, lustful third party interactions. That's not what that time is supposed to be about. That time is really for you. It's like I'm either going to be sitting at home crying and lonely or I'm going to be out like running the streets or whatever, whatever it is you do. It's time for self. It's time for you to get into self. I just, I just keep, okay, I, I just heard that don't deposit. You can't, you can't withdraw what you didn't deposit. Thank you, Spirit. Stop criticizing yourself. What is this card, Spirit, for the fire signs? Thank you. <laughs> okay. The first one we have is the hammer. Sabotage, rebuilding, um, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. And then the X. Break up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So are you giving the silent treatment or are you getting the silent treatment? Did you set in there in the runner? So you're the runner. <laughs> uh, he's a runner. He's a track star. Okay. The runner. The runner in a codependent relationship. Fear of intimacy. Listening to your ego. I don't even know what that was, but I'm going to take it because you're wearing a mask. <laughs> you're wearing a mask. Not showing your true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So what is souls that belong to each other, Spirit? Souls that belong to one another. What is that, Spirit? Give us some clarity. I only want true jumpers, please, Spirit. Souls that belong to each other will always find their way back together. Thank you. One more card, please. Thank you. And I just seen that the sword and the rose, clarity, truth, uh, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And then love, unconditional love, self love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. And at the bottom of the deck, not today. So again, um, you're the runner. You're not dealing with it. You're avoiding a conversation. You're still angry about something. You got on a false mask trying to pretend that these late night self-indulgent moments are really making you happy and they're not. You sat, you're continuing to sabotage. You're continuing to break things apart. But you know that your soul belongs to someone. You have to love yourself before anyone else can love you. Okay. So we're going to move into, um, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you, Spirit. Which, uh, I just, sometimes I just don't know. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. How do you feel so much love for somebody and then you just, I don't know. It's just awkward. Did you really make that big of a mistake with yourself or with someone else? We're going to get into the butterfly kisses now. Where am I at with time? 13 minutes. That ain't easy. This wasn't supposed to go that long. Then get your butterfly kisses out, then we will go over your affirmation, your love affirmation, um, and close out the reading. All right, what do they have to say to one another? Yeah, this is definitely your reading. Whenever I get the fire and desire on a fire reading, this is your reading. These are your energies, so no need to go over to another one. This is happening live and direct. Ooh, chat. Sacral and that solar plexus, that female and male energy. You definitely need to tap into that. And there goes the third eye, seeing things. That you, hmm. All right. This may be to your counterpart. Give me time. I'm healing. We have the sacral chakra. We have the third eye chakra. We have the solar plexus chakra. Fire and desire. Aries, Leo, and Sag. We have the 69. So you may have been really passionate for this person. Real passionate. Face up, face up, uh, face down, ass up. That's how I like it. H as in house. K as in kite. Initials of their name. 50 shades. So again, you may be very, you may be a very sexual person right now. Or you are sexually charged towards somebody. Somebody really gets you worked up. I ride by your home because I miss your face. I want you. I don't need you. Get it? 
18 to 25 years old maybe that's when you met this person or that could be your age now fire sign like i said this is your reading b as in baby or e as in edward o as in oscar r as in roger in the winter time maybe this will come back around if you get your narcissistic ass together i can still feel you inside me wink wink late nights early mornings s as in sam v as in victory like i said you are sabotaging yourself self-sabotage cut it out Heart chakra, saying goodbye, broke me into pieces, and oh, hey, little guy, there you are. So somebody might think they have a small penis, or they do. Work on your heart chakra, work on your third eye chakra, work on your sacral chakra, work on your solar plexus chakra. Okay, let's go into your affirmation, and then we'll close it out. What affirmation card do we have for the fire signs? Aries, Lee, thank you. The first one is spark of divine. I reignite the divine spark within me and recognize I am part of all creation and air elemental. Maybe you are, is this other person an air sign? I embrace the element of air and I am open to all knowledge and wisdom. So I hope that this helped you fire sign um, in regards to your love life, some messages from your love, your divine partner. Please like, share, subscribe, give me some feedback. If you need a personal reading, the information is below. But I do truly send you all um, peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise. May you and your loved ones be blessed immensely. Namaste. Thanks again. And take care.